Hello, welcome back to the Green Workbench. Um, I've got one room of the house on the north side of the house. It doesn't get very much sun and it's pretty cold in the winter. Uh, it only has one heater vent, and, but it has two big windows. So I got an electric fireplace and it's just the, the logs and it's lit up and everything. So I'm making a fireplace hearth and mantle to go with it. So I need it to match the bed in the master bedroom which the bed frame is made out of barn wood and the headboard you may have seen in a previous video is made out of barn wood beams so that's what I'm using here so I've got these beams cut them at 36 inches which will be the height these are four by six four by sixes and then I've got this three-quarter inch piece of barn wood that's, that's about seven inches and I attach them with these angle braces you could do pocket holes as well so I did two of those so those are gonna be my two ends and I fit it with the fireplace so that I know it works so now I'm going to connect want to connect them along the bottom I'm actually gonna build a floor so the fireplace will sit on that um, and then I've got to cut the mantle in the in the front and the back and everything. So both of these pieces are done and we're going to connect them by creating the base first. All right, so I have a two by four here. And then one at the top and the back. The bottom, it's on the front and the back. So I'll lay a piece of plywood on top of this, cut it out around this four by six and that'll be make my base so I've indented it about half inch but I'll bring the base all the way out because that base is going to be painted black okay I cut out the base so it'll go around and I just nailed it into those two by fours and like I said it's going to be painted black and the fireplace will sit on top of this so it's raised up off the floor. My goal in this project is to not have to purchase anything. Use all scraps uh, except for black paint. I'll have to purchase black paint. So next we need to do the backing. Alright, so I've put the face on. Very simple. I basically just put a 2x4 here on the inside and then nailed these boards on. Okay, I attached the back. I screwed it down in the bottom into the 2x4 and then brad nails on the sides. And I'm creating this top to it instead of going all the way up. And I just put some Basically, two by four cleats there, one along the back, and this shelf fits right in, kind of closes it in, so the heat and light move forward, and then I'll work on them, the mantle. All right, for my mantle, I had to use two pieces. I didn't have one wide enough, um, so I ran them through the joiner so they'd be nice and flat and square and then I cut biscuits and glued them together so they're clamped up right now and then I placed it on top and screwed down so this is along the 2x4 in the back and this is into that uh, 4x6 up front if you don't like the aesthetic of screwing down you can come in from the bottom um, but I've got these buttons that will fill the holes um, so it doesn't bother me and then on mine, I've got a live edge on the front, so that looks pretty cool. All right, my last two steps of the build was to drill the hole in the back for the fireplace plug. And then it's going to have to be away from the wall a little bit to give space for the plug. And so I have this basically, it's kind of like a molding piece. and. It's cut 
two inches and glued and nailed right into the edge there so it gives it a little bit of space it's a flat plug so that should be fine and then I can push this up against the wall so do that on both sides and then the last step is just to paint the inside black the last step was to paint the bottom and the inside black I'll give a better reflection of the flames and look more real so I just used a flat black acrylic paint doesn't have to be anything fancy. All right, here we are with the finished product. The flame looks really good with that black background, so that worked out great. So apart from purchasing the fireplace insert, the only thing I had to buy for this was a bottle of black acrylic paint because we didn't have enough at home and a foam brush. So the entire project cost me about $4.50, somewhere around there. So not bad. All of it is barn wood. It also matches the headboard that is also in the bedroom. You can check that out on a separate video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification button. And I will see you again the next time on the Green Workbench.